okay my peeps let's try this one more time but this time let's actually do it with an SD card in the freaking GoPro so it actually records <laughs> dumbass So, I recently bought two pieces of equipment, one a little bit older than the other, but two pieces of equipment that I want to review. One of them is the Artman case for the GoPro that I use now that has the actual adapter, uh, a place to hold the adapter so you don't have to like tape it or mount it or anything that anywhere else on your helmet. And the second thing was the GoPro remote, which like I said, I don't use it. You can see it's not here, so that'll give you an idea of how I feel about it. But I went ahead and made a clip sitting at my computer table and I'll go ahead and roll that one up right about now all right so this is the um, Artman case for your GoPro and as far as I know it it fits to five six and seven couldn't really tell you if it fits the older models um, but I'm pretty sure the older models don't even can't even uh, adapt with the external mic so it really shouldn't matter um, this thing really really is amazing okay so first off the clip on it which i'll turn around all it is is just a little slide thing so if i take this and I just pull up and out it's clips slides out and that is what keeps your gopro in there and as you can see it's really really easy it just slides right on out boop 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 um and then getting it on same thing it's really really simple if i can do it with one hand you just push in on it boom there it goes so um, as you can tell I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before my other video but back here I don't have the, the adapter tape to it it's just one clean line right there sticker from what mass is still there um, and on the side here because it holds the adapter here it goes in this is my five which I don't I have it for a rear mount so I don't need an external mic but this guy just clips whoop, right in there to it um, I love it. I don't know what I did without before it. If and I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's an Artman case. Pick it up if you're actually moto vlogging and stuff like that. Jiggy Moto was the one that showed me, and it is amazing. And then all this other stuff. If you guys are just new to the channel, um, find the one that says "So you want to moto vlog?" It explains everything else from this to my mic to tips and tricks on stuff and how not to do it. Um, the second thing I'm gonna to review today is oh by the way, Scoo's Adventures. Selling you some stickers. Go check him out. He's got some good content on there as well. Uh, Scoose, I I don't know what's going on with the stickers, man. I sent it. The ones that are international don't seem to be showing up very well. But, yeah. Anyways. Next thing I want to review here is the GoPro remote. So this thing is $80, right? And I thought it would be great because I could put there and hit record, hit stop. I know when it's recording. I know when it's not recording because sometimes it's a pain in the butt to, to realize when you're recording or not. For $80, it comes with just a generic Velcro strap, which is, to me, is absolutely ridiculous. And then I used it for a week. And I, and I ride and motovlog a lot, so there's, there's a lot of times in there. And just to give you an idea, this thing made my GoPro Hero 7 freeze three times and it made my Hero 5 freeze and lock up two times. So I don't know, and on top of that, um, if you're doing any amount of recording or any length of recording, you have to have your GoPro set on wireless connection on and it drains your battery. If you shoot 4K like I do, it's already drained enough. This thing drains your battery like, like no other. Like seriously, it took it down by at least 40 to 50%, more than the 4K already does. Uh, on top of it freezing, on top of it having issues, and it's just not worth it. Um, if you're looking at getting this right here, I wouldn't recommend it, to be totally honest with you. Um, unless they have kind of come up with some kind of update or something like that that'll fix this, I highly recommend you just kind of not doing it and just sticking it out and you know figuring out other ways to work it because this will mess up your content. And when you're on a motorcycle, having to pull over to fix your GoPro all the time is ridiculous. So GoPro, really failed on this one this one's this is horrible 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 product and it's especially to charge eighty dollars for it so those are my two reviews um mostly to do with moto vlogging again check out jiggy moto Scoo's adventures subscribe good times well there you have it um i'll put like i said i'll put links 
in for both of them uh, in the description if you guys wish to purchase them. I don't really recommend the GoPro remote. I mean, if that thing was like, you know, $25, $30, sure, no problem. Yeah, hit it up, do it. But to charge $80 for something that just destroys, doesn't destroy, but, you know, that causes problems with your GoPro, eh, I'm okay on that. I, I can do without. I'll, I'll manage. I'll manage without it, you know, it'll be all right. But yeah, peeps, let me know if there's something else you would like me to talk about in these videos, because this is just going to be a shorter one. So that should do it. Until then, okay, cool, thank you. Until then, talk to you all next time. Have a good one.